you all remember the discussion guys that we had last Wednesday in the grad club about the euro and this this is last Wednesday when we were talking about the euro and we took the the cell below the the 133 and I explained to you the significance of the 133 37 because it has been such a historical point in the uh, and you guys they uh, you can see the dashed line how far it, it takes the point there so we can see the uh, the reaction this here on Friday is again a very strong sell signal because during the day the the euro strengthened and it started trading up towards the structural point of the 133.37 it did trade above it it put a high of 133.58 about 20 pips above the structural point but it could not hold right there there was no orders triggered triggered on the buy side above the 133 and that move fizzled completely and we had a big sell-off all the way down taking out the prior three four five days lows and we did close the week or the day friday at 131.87 our low was 131.32 so we just bounced off the low about 40 pips or so and the prior daily lows are pretty much as you can see all of them around the 80 level and it just this is where it closed it could not really close above the 81 i mean it just had a minor again seven pips at or around the the prior buy signals is practically insignificant and that would indicate continuation to the downside and just by looking at the daily chart and we can and i explained to you you can see here on the intraday we were unable the pound was unable even to go above the market side all what it managed to do in the friday session it just a bounce towards the end of the session which is again is a more no more than a profit taking uh, bounce and it closed the day right even below the market side and sitting at the prior momentum so this is and look at this I mean this is just a big momentum to the downside this is a beautiful trend to the downside nothing that indicates that there is a chance anything technically on the chart that would indicate a buy signal for us so we need to be cautious about even considering uh, buying the the pound anywhere having said that we still have as traders have to do our what if so where we're going to buy we have a buying point and we also have to have a selling point so our buying point in this case we need to have confirmation that there is an upward move so Sergey, where do you think we should buy or Robert now just give me a number Sergey. give me a number if you see it give me a number Uh, 65 is going to be too far away 132.59 yes I think that that is much more reasonable Sergey because if we buy it over here we can place our stop somewhere reasonably so we're not taking too much because if you buy it over here Sergey you have to put your stop technically over here so that is going to be quite a big risk so if it is going to go there anyway you might as well take it from here
All right, so this is going to be our buy signal. And our sell signal, we want it to be a gift, so we'll take it below the We're going to take it below the 131.80, which is this area over here. So we're going to take our sell signal from there, and we're going to place our stop on the sell signal above the three days low, the two days low. So the euro, we're looking again for a continuation to the downside, and we're going to sell it below 131.80 which is actually our selling point from last week and we are going to buy it above 132 this is our buying point 132 uh, 25 9 and we're going to sell it below 160 130 160 and if we're going to buy it over here we're going to place our stop uh, right below 132 wait and if we are going to sell it we are going to place our stop oops wait hold on a second we are going to sell it over here I need to place my stop where is my uh, We're going to place our stop above 131.80, which is our structure point to the upside. So my stop is going to be above the 131.80 because that's the structure point. So I, I want to be uh, I don't want it to come back above the structure point. The structure short is still as is 129.68 to the downside and my structure long to the upside is the 133.37. Okay, so this is the euro. We're going to go short below 132.59, long above 132.59. And if we do, we're going to place our stop at 132.08. So we're risking about 50 pips on that trade. And uh, my structure long is 133.37. So it should, if it gets above that, it should at least, we should make a decision around the 133. And if I'm going to go short, I'm going to go short at 131.60 or 63, Hamid. Doesn't matter. And my structure short, which is the next target down, is 129.68. And if I go short at 131.60, I'm placing my stop 20 pips above that high. I'm risking, I'm putting the stop at 131.80. Okay? That is the euro dollar.